Hi guys! So today I'm going to show you how I made this super chic, super cheap, super DIY jewelry holder. What you'll need for this project is a cork board, some paint brushes, some acrylic paint, I'm using black, you can use any color you want, some screw-in hooks, I got these at Walgreens for just a few dollars, and some, uh, I was going to say wallpaper, some wrapping paper, uh, just like birthday wrapping paper or whatever you can find that has a cute design. So to get started, I'm going to take the wrapping paper and I'm going to cover the entire cork board with it. And then using the back side of a paintbrush, I'm going to make really gentle indentation marks along the inner edges of the cork board just so I know where I'm going to be folding. Once we've got that all covered, go ahead and cut that square of wrapping paper. Then we're going to flip it over and now you see those lines that we made with the with the uh, paintbrush, the end of the paintbrush. We're going to fold along those lines on all four sides. And then once we've got that finished, I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to measure it to the inner side of the cork board so that um, it covers the entire um, cork area of the cork board. The next step is to paint the border of your cork board uh, whatever color you want. I chose black because my color scheme of my room is um, white, gray, and red, and black. So I figured I would do black as an accent color. And after saying that out loud, I just realized that I painted my entire room the same colors as my old high school. I'm so cool. Once the paint is dry, we're going to take our square of, oh my gosh, if I think of saying wallpaper one more time, we're going to take our wrapping paper and place it back over the corkboard. Now I'm going to take some ribbon that matches, I'm using like a dark maroon, and I'm basically going to measure each side and cut accordingly. And we're going to do that on all four sides. And then to place them just uh, as a placeholder right now, I'm just using some thumbtacks in each corner and I really want to like stretch out each side to make sure it fits just perfectly. And now what I'm doing is I'm just taking a glue gun. Um, this step is optional, but um, I just think it helps secure the ribbon down better. Um, and I'm just placing a little bit of glue underneath the ribbon. Sorry, I should have told you guys you need a glue gun. Um, but like I said, it's optional. And then I'm just slowly going across the line to make sure that the ribbon stays at the very edge of the cork board just covering the ends of the wallpaper and you want to do that on all four sides. Once that step is all finished, I'm going to take these screw in hooks and um, basically you're just going to mark where you want to put them and you're going to start screwing them in. I, I'm using three um, miniature screw in hooks for my necklaces. And then I have this really cool, um, like, uh, it's a piece, that thing, that right there, see that black thing? Uh, I use it to put my earrings on, and I think it's just a piece of like one of those um, build-it-yourself storage bins. And uh, my friend gave it to me because she was using it for her earrings, and I thought it was a pretty cool idea. So. Um, what I'm doing here to secure this is I'm basically just placing each hook where I want it to be. For the top, I'm going to be putting it on the inside of that grid. We'll call that black thing a grid because that's what it looks like. And then for the bottom, I'm placing them on the outside so that when it hangs on the wall, it basically will just fall right into those hooks. 
and then I'm taking it off and I'm just gonna screw those hooks in securely. Now that I'm finished screwing all the hooks in, I'm gonna put the grid back onto the cork board. And now you can place it on the wall wherever you'd like in your room. So now I'm just gonna fill my grid with my earrings. And this is gonna take forever. So are you guys ready to see the power of editing? Go! Good thing I'm making a jewelry holder. <laughs> Guys, look, 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 it's my name. My best friend got this for me for Christmas. Aww. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you decided to follow this tutorial and make your own jewelry holder, let me know. Um, I really want to see pictures or you could do a video of your own. It would be really cool to see. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and comment, etc, etc, etc. Follow me on Instagram. Blah, 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 blah. You know what to do. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And I can't wait to show you guys my next video. Stay tuned.